answer a question of how to add multiple audio files on your video slides. And we're also going to be looking at fade in and fade out as well as syncing your audio with your video slides. So let's jump in and do that. Once you've created your content and you have your video files all ready for you to add your audio files, it's very important to take note that your playhead determines where your audio file is going to be added. Make sure you're aware where your playhead is. If you're not sure how to add audio to Canva, you need to go find your music wherever you've saved it and you just drag it to Canva. It will load it under the audio files. And once it's loaded, you're ready to add it to your designs. So the first step is to go to your audio. All you do to add your audio, you just click on it once and then it starts adding the audio files wherever you've placed your playhead. So I'm going to add different kinds of files. All you can do is just, just move your playhead and add different kinds of files wherever you want the system to add it to. And that's it. Your audio files are added on all of the video slides. What's important to take note now is they are all going to be playing together and it won't make sense. So now you need to start adjusting the audio files so that they are on the same line and then they will play one after another on your slide. So all you do, you click on the audio file and you hover just slightly and then you move your file to where you want the audio to end. And then as, as you can see, the second audio file immediately slid to the line of the first audio file to show that they are going to be playing all together seamlessly because you've adjusted. So that's what you're going to do. You're just going to slide all of them so that they are all on the one page. And that's it. All of your files have been added and now you can listen to them and start adjusting the fade in and the fade out. So how we adjust the fade in, we would select the audio file, we click on the ellipses or the three dots, and then we go to audio effects. It will open up the fade in and the fade out, and then you can then adjust it the way that you want. You must just do that for all of the files by selecting them, and if you want them to, to fade in and fade out, you'd adjust them like that. One of the last things I want to show you is Canva has added a new feature of syncing the audio files. BeatSync harmonizes your video project with beautiful melodies and it makes it a very exciting beat drops and it makes you like a musical genius. So I added audio files look like this before they are synced and I want to show you after we've synced them. So what you do, you click on the beat sync what canva is going to do your pages and elements will be automatically timed to the music so when you switch it on then it starts adjusting and syncing the audio files to your slides so all of our music is synced and it looks like that so let's listen to this video of ours that has multiple audio that has been added stop and pause and say who can you stop and pause and say who is my target audience who do i want to sell this product or the services to that's how you add audio files on canva if this has helped you and you enjoyed it smash the like button and let me know what other Canva videos I can create. If you want a Canva full course, we have one created just waiting for you at learnwithzart.com. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial. I will see you on the next video. Yes.